Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can um, handle the keyboard events using Selenium WebDriver. So I'll take a real time example and I'll emulate some of the keyboard events that uh, we you usually you know use and uh, combination of keys. So basically how you can perform all those combinations using Selenium, Selenium WebDriver I'll cover in this particular tutorial. So for an example, I'll go to this, uh, you know, some um, sample text compare website. Okay. And uh, what we need to do is here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to emulate some of the keyboard events, right? So for example, I want to copy the text that is here. Okay. So in order to copy this text via keyboard, the first thing I have to do is I have to, you know, highlight uh, within this particular area, right? So I just click on it and then I'll pr press Control A. This will, um, you know, uh, highlight or select the all the text text within this particular div or area. And then if I press Control C, it will copy the whole text that is here, right? So at the moment you can see there are three differences between the text that is in this area and in this div here, this area. Uh, the next step is to basically click on the other area and I'll say control A. So control A and then control V. And now you can see I have copied the text that is here and pasted it in this second box. And you can see that there are zero differences. Now, this is the test that we want to do using Selenium WebDriver. Okay, so I want to write a script or you might be, you know, like having the requirement to emulate the keyboard events and perform similar tasks or anything that is related related to the keyboard events. So that's what we are going to learn in this particular tutorial. So let's get started and go to the Eclipse ID and let me copy uh, any of the uh, class here. So I'll copy and simply paste it. And I'll say um, keyboard events demo all right so now the first step is to basically navigate to that particular website right so we'll go to this website and we'll navigate to the website and maximize the page right so we are opening this website in chrome and then maximizing the page so this is the line to maximize the page now let me remove all these lines here and let's start writing the script that will emulate this whole action okay now the first step that after launching this particular website after the page loads the first thing we need to do is to basically identify this web element where we need to click right so first thing is we have to click so we just need to identify so just right click click on inspect and it will highlight the area so we can click anywhere in this particular area so i'll just copy the highlighted area copy the xpath and i'll say Control f let's see it's pretty lengthy xpath so let me simplify it a little bit i'll just remove this whole bit from here and then just copy that okay so it's a relative xpath i'll copy it and then we'll store so we'll say driver dot find element by and we are finding it by xpath and i'll paste the xpath expression okay and i'll store it into the web element variable so web element i'll say source text all right and source text area i would say and the next step is to basically once we identify that this is where we have to click right now after clicking we have to perform some of the keyboard actions and the keyboard actions are control a and control c so control a will select the whole text and control c will copy this whole text okay now there is an action class in selenium web driver and we'll use the same action class okay now if we go to the documentation uh, of the action class we'll simply first 
uh, go to the action class and see what all methods are there so we'll see actions and in the actions we have these you know methods so key down right so we'll, we'll be using key down to press particular keys and then we'll do the combination of keys as well okay so after that once you you know like press the key down if you go to the details what is the argument that it takes it takes the key argument right so it takes the keys for example keys dot shift keys dot all keys dot control and if we go to the key um, keys you know class uh, we'll go to the documentation as well and I'll explain you what exactly uh, where exactly these keys are so it's up where somewhere let me okay so keys right so here you see that this is enum and enum is a special uh, sort of class in java uh, which has the constants so if these are the enum constants we'll explain i'll explain all these concepts when we are going through into the detail of the java core java for testers tutorial series so as of now you just remember that enum is a special you know class in java which has these constants defined which are sort of keys uh, key operation that we'll be doing okay so going back here so what we'll do is now we have to press the control key right so control a and control v so now what we'll do is we'll first create the object of the actions class right so we'll say new actions and we can provide the reference of the driver um, there and then we'll simply say actions action store in the variable okay now we can call the methods on this action object so we'll say action dot key down okay so now we have to press the control key first right so we'll say key key down and then where do we want to press the key so first we have to select the area right so there are if you if you go into the detail so if we say simply say key down so you have the key down wherein you can simply pass the character sequence and then there is another method wherein you have to provide the specific target where you want to press the control key so it will first select the target so the second method is what we are looking for so it's basically first it clicks on that particular web element so this will uh, you know click on the area that we want to select uh, the text from and then it will select the control key or the keys that we pass so i'll select the source text area okay this is the area where we want to click and which key we want to press we want to press the control key so we'll say keys dot control right so now on this particular source area control key will be pressed okay now the next thing is we want to along with the control we want to press control uh, the a key as well so control a to select the whole text right so we'll say dot send keys right and we'll simply pass the string a okay now the next key that we want to press we can again press the dot and say send keys and next key is to copy the text right so we'll say c right and then this is you know like uh, the whole sequence of the steps so then we'll say build and perform okay and if you hover over the build it will say it generates a composite action containing all the actions so far so there are multiple actions that we have selected in this particular line so we need to use build and then perform to perform this whole action okay so now what it will do is it will click on that particular source area press the control a and control c so all these keys together okay uh, the next thing is to basically once we have selected this whole area or whole text within that particular area then we have to go back to the new area okay so we have to go back to this particular area and paste that whole text that we have copied from here okay so let's identify this new area as well so we'll copy the locator and 
let me see where the locator is so it's again uh, lengthy locator I'll simply remove all these details from here and I'll copy this xpath and now the next action is to basically again click on the new area and pass on the control a and control v right so control a to select the whole text that is within the area and control v to paste the text that we have copied from the previous text area so in order to do that first thing is we have to first identify that web element so we'll say dry driver dot find element by xpath and we'll paste the xpath that we have copied and store it into the web element text area source area 2 i'll say uh, or destination area so we'll say destination text area okay and then we'll simply call action dot key down okay so again key down the second one so with the target and in the destination text area i'll provide this target and the keys will be keys dot control and then i want to select so control a so select the whole text in the new area okay so we'll say send keys a and then send keys v so control v will paste all the copied text from the previous text area into this new area and then we'll say build dot perform all right so these are the steps that will be required in order to you know copy a text from this particular text box and then select the whole text remove this existing text and paste the text that you have copied from this particular area into this area okay so let's try to execute and before executing let me put put some weight there so you can see um, it all in action so let me put some weight here so i'll say thread dot sleep oh sorry uh, i'll say thread dot sleep and i'll put two seconds wait there and we'll import the throws declaration there and then we'll also put the sleep two seconds sleep here as well okay so we can see that the control uh, a control c or copying the text is happening and then it's moving to the next text box and pasting the text there okay um this is the hard you know uh, this this weight is the hard weight and we will be learning more about the selenium weights so this is not the recommended way but i'm just explaining you so that you can see uh, just putting these weights so you can see that the code is working as expected and you can see it in action okay so let's run this and see the results so it will open um, this particular website and then move to that location copy the text within that text box right it has selected it has copied and then you can see it has moved to the new location and it has pasted the same text right and you can see now there are zero differences between the two text documents so now we have written the script to basically perform the keyboard you know operations or keyboard events using selenium web driver now if you go through you know the actions class right so we'll go through some of the details of the actions class and see some of the methods um, so we'll see you know um, there are lots and lots of you know if you go through this uh, documentation you will find a lot of methods that are available there now it's up to you basically to so for example we have covered key down key down key up um, key up at the web element uh, so what this will do it will it will perform you know key release after focusing on that particular web element so if you read through all these methods and try to you know 
write the scripts accordingly or try to just play around with these you know methods uh, and come up with the scenarios that you face uh, in your day-to-day -day, you know uh, automation or a learning journey then you will learn a lot more details about the selenium automation right so in this tutorial we can't cover the all of the methods but we have um, I'll, I'll try to cover the most of the you know very common one that are required so similarly for the keyboard events you can play around with different you know combinations of keys um, that are possible um, on the keyboard and learn a lot more for the keyboard events so that is pretty much all about the uh, you know handling keyboard events using selenium driver Hope you like the tutorial. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.